What's up, YouTube? This is Dan from The New Travel, and today we are looking at 10 things you should do if you visit Foz de Guatsu. So when most people think of Foz de Guatsu, they think of one thing, they think of Iguatsu Falls. In fact, a lot of people actually think that Foz de Guatsu means Iguatsu Falls. I kind of thought that myself before visiting. It was like Portuguese for Iguatsu Falls. That's actually incorrect. It's a separate city which is close to the falls. But yeah, I spent five days in Foz de Guatsu. I think each thing on this list could have actually been a separate video, but then it would have been crazy. I would have been, had so many different videos going on that I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna make one super video that can be like the ultimate guide to Foz de Guatsu. That is this video, so I hope you enjoy. Okay, number one, Iguatsu Falls. Obviously. Let's get the obvious one out of the way. This list would not be complete without mentioning the wonder of the world, which is only about 20 minutes from Foz de Guatsu. If you want more info on that, you can watch the full video that I just released. Number two, the bird park. Now this is really good to know before you do your visit to Iguatsu Falls, because directly across the street, there's this bird park where, um, well, I'll let, I'll let Josh explain this one. This is actually a bird sanctuary where over 90% of the birds in the park are either rescued from the illegal pet trade or they're born in captivity in the park. So this is actually not a zoo, this is a nonprofit uh, park that takes care of uh, birds. So yeah, if you wanna get into some of the biodiversity in Brazil, but you, know, you don't have the chance to visit the Amazon or something like that, definitely check out the bird park. You will not be disappointed. Now another pretty cool attraction to check out while you're in the Iguatsu Falls area is the Taipu Dam. This thing, this, this beast of engineering that's running all behind me, it's hard to fully appreciate the scale as I stand here, but uh, to, get, to give you some idea, the total water running through this at any given time is 10 times more than all of Iguatsu Falls. Let that sink in for a minute. All of the waterfalls you saw there are 10 times more water running through this. That's a double-decker bus for scale. The dam continues underwater as well. It's about the same height as a 68-story skyscraper measured from bottom to top. I don't know why more people don't talk about Itaipu Dam. It's always about the waterfall, but this place was also pretty epic. Another popular thing to do for people visiting Foz de Guatsu is to cross the border into Paraguay. As you can see behind me, those buildings are right across the river. That's uh, a city in Paraguay. In particular, a reason a lot of Brazilians travel across is because import fees are very high in Brazil and almost non-existent in Paraguay. So a lot of people like to go shopping there for electronics, beauty products, alcohol, you know, things like that. It's funny because as you're driving around the Foz de Guatsu area, you're going to see all these big billboards for Paraguay. And <laughs> I don't know, it almost seemed like Paraguay was a bigger deal than Iguatu Falls for some of the Brazilians. Uh, there's definitely a lot of tourism going over the border. Something else to do while you're here is to visit the Buddhist temple. It's actually more of a complex than just a temple. You can see there's plenty of statues. Quite a large Buddha statue right behind me. And yeah, it's something I never expected to find in Brazil, but obviously there's some Buddhist culture here as well. All right guys, something else worth checking out while you're here is the Marco das Tres Fronteras, also known as the Mark of the Three Borders. Of course, we're currently in Brazil, so this is the Brazil side, but if you look directly over that border, over that river, I should say, uh, that is actually Argentina. And then on the other side of the river, that's Paraguay. So as you can see with this map, this is where three different countries meet. And uh, on the Brazil side, there's a lot going on here. You can learn a bit about the history of the region. You can get snacks, acai, my favorite. And at night, they have cultural presentations. So I think if you have the time, you should definitely check this place out. Okay, so we've been talking about a lot of different attractions, but uh, it would not be a trip to Brazil without talking about food. So let's talk about one of the best meals I had in my entire time in Brazil. It was this restaurant called, uh, what was the name? 
Yeah, this is it. Restaurante Baracal. Baracal. Basically, it's like a farm style buffet. That's how it was described to me. And apparently farmers eat a lot because this was, it was just a mind blowing experience and quite affordable too, from what I remember. I wish I had made a full video about this place, but to be honest, when you're staring at a table like this, you don't want to think about making a video. You just want to think about one thing and that is eating. And that's what I did. So no regrets about that one. <laughs> Now, if you want a chance to try some more local foods and kind of get some crafts and souvenirs and stuff like that, there's a cool Sunday market. I don't know exactly where it takes place, but it's very close to downtown. And if you're looking for souvenirs, it's a great place to go because you'll get met much better prices than at the attractions themselves. Now we've talked about food, let's talk about drinks. <laughs> Does anyone know what this is? Oh, if I have any Southern Brazilians, I'm sure you do. So funny story, this is a traditional cup and interesting looking, um, what's the word, straw? <laughs> straw is the word I was looking for, uh, that is used to drink mate. And mate uh, is, or yerba mate, or, there's different names for it, but typically known as mate is a traditional drink that I didn't see anyone drinking it in Rio. Uh, like my first two weeks in Brazil, I, I didn't know what this was. Then when we went to Foz do Iguaçu, Josh said, you're gonna start seeing a lot of mate. And as soon as he pointed that out, I started seeing everyone, like literally people driving in their cars in the morning, sipping mate, people sharing these like huge jugs of mate. And I got so curious, I wanted to try it. I wanted to buy it for myself. Uh, so I did, and I've been making my own mate. I've done it four or five times. And yeah, it's a very distinct flavor. It's kind of like a minty, herby flavor. Uh, I don't love it, but it's very like soothing. It's kind of like, I don't know, you just want something like more chilled out than coffee, because it is caffeinated, so it will give you some energy. But it's just like a very, I'm not gonna lie, I just like the cup. I just like drinking out of this cup, but uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think of mate because I'm still learning about how it all works. And guys, the final thing we did before heading to the airport was pay a visit to the largest mosque in all of Latin America. Uh, this was a big surprise to me, but there is a sizable Lebanese community right here in Foz de Guasu. Uh, and as you can see by this beautiful structure in front of us, they have a pretty nice mosque. You're free to visit. Uh, you have to just stop by here and make a little appointment. And I believe Monday through Friday, you can come and you can, yeah, get a little guided tour of the inside. I think generally speaking, the cultural diversity of Brazil has been one of the biggest surprises for me on this visit. So I think it's appropriate that we end the tour with something like this. And that's it guys. The 10 things you should do when you visit uh, Foz do Iguazu. Hope you guys have enjoyed my list. Uh, I gotta give a big shout out to Josh from Epic Brazil Tours. Uh, of course, if you've been watching my video series, you've seen Josh before. He's like the mastermind behind the scenes who was planning everything. Without him, this list would not exist. So yeah, if you're interested in uh, visiting Brazil, all the info for Epic Brazil Tours is down below. And yeah, if you're from Foz do Iguaçu, let me know what you think of my list. Uh, you guys have an interesting city, that's for sure. It feels as though the tourism is just going to grow more and more. So that's why I was happy to make this video. Hopefully it will help some other travelers out. And um, yeah, there's actually one other awesome thing that we did in Foz de Guatsu, but this is going to be a separate video. It's actually going to be the last video from my Brazil series. That's right. I'm, I'm back home in Canada now. But yeah, you're not going to want to miss this one. So I hope you guys enjoy it. That's enough talking for now. I'm going to go maybe make some mate. Ooh. As always, I'm Dan from The New Travel. I'll see you next time.